Hey, it's a toy hunt. I haven't done one of these in a while. Feels good to do one of these toy hunt videos. Uh, quite honestly, the reason I haven't done one in a while is because of the San Diego Comic-Con shared exclusives that came out and that beat the crap out of my wallet. I spent way too much money on that stuff. Kind of over, overbought, overspent. Bought a few that I wasn't really planning on buying. I wasn't very selective, but still happy with all my purchases, but I had to take some time off from buying more stuff. So yeah, I'm on a hunt today. I am hunting. Here's the, here's the rundown. Here's where I'm going. I am starting at Walgreens, and at Walgreens I'm looking for the Marvel Legends X-Men wave. Um, I've already picked up the Wolverine and the Rogue, so I'm looking specifically for Deadpool, Cable, and Phoenix right now. Um, obviously, I'm looking for all of them. I'll eventually pick up all of them. But I've been seeing a lot of the Kitty Pride, Havoc, and Iceman at other stores. It seems like people are buying up the uh, Cables and Phoenixes, and obviously Deadpools, um, more frequently. Ah, so I am going to uh, try and get those first. But I'm happy I got my Rogue and my Wolverine. Those are the two that I really, really wanted um, from that set. So yeah, Walgreens is the first stop. I'm gonna be going to a Walmart after Walgreens. And at Walmart, I'm looking for the uh, Dr. Harleen Quinzel and the uh, Joker in the suit, uh, Funko Pop exclusives. Um, so hopefully they have those there. I've heard that they've been um, spotted around town here in Cincinnati. Um, after Walmart, I am going to Toys R Us to try and find the Teen Titans exclusive pops. Uh, so, um, yeah, we're looking at, who is it? Starfire's Flash, Robin as Batman, Raven as, was it Wonder Woman? Um, so, yeah, looking for those. I might be going to a second Toys R Us if I don't find them at this, the first Toys R Us. And then the last stop is GameStop to see if they have any of the uh, Mega Man Pops. So that's the rundown, that's where I'm headed today. Gotta get in front of this person because my lane's ending. So yeah, let's see what we find. Crossing my fingers, hoping I find some good stuff, and we'll see. First stop, we're at Walgreens, let's see what they got. All done at Walgreens and we have some success. I always get a little worried when there's success at the first stop you make on a toy hunt because I always feel like the rest of the hunt is just going to suck. Um, but I did find a couple things that I was looking for at Walgreens. Very, very happy. Uh, but I'll share those at the very end when I show you my haul. So we're headed to Walmart now. We'll see what they have. I'm really hoping they have that uh, Dr. Harleen and uh, Joker in the suit. I saw Suicide Squad last night. Um, I liked it. I liked a lot of it, and I didn't like a lot of it. <clears throat> it's, the, it's the most inconsistent review that I've ever had of like a movie, where I really, really liked <clears throat> certain parts of it, and then I really, <laughs> I really did not like certain parts of it. So it's kind of like a, a mid-grade for me, as far as the movie goes, but... Headed to Walmart now, looking for those pops. After that, it's Toys R Us. We'll see how that goes. At Walmart now, and see what they got. So I just went to Walmart, and uh, they were cleaned out of the exclusive Harleen Quinzel and uh, Suit Joker. The guy that was working there said that they had, uh, I think, six or eight of them each. But um, yeah, I'm not too confident that I'm going to be able to find those, to be honest with you. Uh, the Walmart exclusives, even Toys R Us exclusives, they are hard to come by, uh, at least in my neck of the woods. So I'm not really confident I'm gonna find those. I'm not holding my breath. Um, but I forgot that there's a GameStop right in front of this place. So I'm actually gonna go there right now and see what they got. Hopefully they got the Mega Man Pops, but we shall see. Oh, and I did find a couple things. I did buy a couple things at this Walmart. They just weren't pop related, but I'll share those in my haul. But uh, yeah, see ya. So I am all done at GameStop. It was kind of a bust for me, even though they had a lot of good stuff there. They had a lot of the uh, summer convention exclusives still there. They had Doomsday, 
They had the False God Superman. They had pretty much all of them except for Doctor Strange and actually they did have the Bowcaster Han. And they had the Galactic, Galactic Convention exclusives too. So they had pretty much everything except for Doctor Strange still there. <clears throat> I didn't pick any of them up because obviously I've already bought them all. Um, they also had something that was pretty cool, but I didn't buy it. It was a Stan Lee Dorbs. Um, I'm not that big into Dorbs. I mean, I bought I bought the Guardians of the Galaxy Dorbs, but that was only because they were on clearance over at uh, Barnes and Noble. But it looked cool, but I just didn't buy it. It was ten bucks, but I didn't get it. Uh, went ahead and got some lunch too. Got a foot long Coney chili dog. That was awesome. And now I'm headed to Toys R Us, uh, possibly two Toys R Us's, if this first one doesn't have anything. Which they don't have a really good track record. They've never really had anything when I've been looking for it there, so I might be going to two Toys R Us's. And we're at Toys R Us. Let's see what they got. All right, so I am done at Toys R Us. Uh, and the first thing I'd like to do is officially say that any negative thing I have ever said about this Toys R Us in Dayton, Ohio. What is this? Kettering, Miamisburg, wherever the hell it is. Any negative thing I've said about this place, I take it back because holy shit, I just had a massive, awesome haul. And you know what? I was planning on doing a haul video when I got back home, but I can't even wait. I wanna show you what I got. I'm gonna start with what I found at Walgreens earlier today. So I was looking for Deadpool, Cable, and Phoenix from the new Marvel Legends X-Men series. And I had some success there. Didn't find Deadpool, obviously, because he's frickin' Flipper Paradise. And I don't think I'll ever find him in the wild unless they're opening the box right as I get there. But I found, bam, Cable. How about that? Been looking for Cable. I've got the Rogue, got the Wolverine found cable very happy with that whoa just dented the shit out of the box um, found cable I also found Phoenix so yeah making progress and getting these Marvel Legends X-Men series so I still need Iceman Kitty and Havoc to complete my juggernaut um, Deadpool I'll get him eventually I'll probably have to pay more than he um, you know than retail on eBay but very happy that I found these guys in the wild. Cable and Phoenix. <clears throat> All right, so I went on to Walmart and I was looking for the new uh, exclusive Harleen Quinzel and Joker in the suit. Did not find them. Got the unfortunate news that they had already gotten them. They got eight of each and they were cleaned the F out. But I did find these. And this is probably the first time you've seen me buy these in any of the videos that you might have watched. Um, I collect Star Wars three and three quarter inch figures. I've been collecting them since I was five years old. I still collect them. And I found Captain Trash Compactor, Captain Phasma, the setup for a trash compactor joke. Still very, very cool looking. Um, so yeah, I got the three and three quarter inch Captain Phasma. And I also found, this is the one that I was really looking for when I heard that they were making it, but the Walmart exclusive, Old Man Han Solo and his Hoth gear. Not Hoth gear. Planet Star Killer gear. That cold ass planet that was a big ass Death Star. That gear. But uh, very happy that I found those guys. I still collect a three and three quarter inch. It kind of sucks that they're uh, relegated to Walmart as exclusives. Um, I really wish that that was a more uh, widespread series, but I'll take what I can get. So three and three quarter inch black series, got them. So, that leads me to my current visit at Toys R Us. This Toys R Us I've been talking crap about because they never have anything I'm looking for. I walked in, went straight to the pop section, saw a bunch of empty boxes there, empty cardboard boxes. So I'm like, oh, maybe they just got a shipment. And holy shit did they get a shipment because I found all three Teen Titans Go pops. There's the Starfire's Flash. There's the Raven as Wonder Woman. And here is Robin as Batman. I got there right as the guy had unpacked the box. 
There were six of each on the shelf, so I got my pick of paint, uh, paint applications and box condition. So I think I found the three best boxes and the three best paint apps, and I am so freaking happy that I found those. Uh, I was honestly worried because Toys R Us exclusives are kind of hard to come by when it comes to Funkos, but man, I'm happy. Damn it. I'm so happy that I found those. Uh, I don't have to go to the other uh, Toys R Us, which is another 17 miles up the road. Very happy I found those. But in addition to that excitement that I had for those three pops, I went back to the uh, figure aisle to see what kind of legends they had, and holy jeez, did I found something awesome that I didn't even know was out yet. And it might have just been released, it might have just hit the shelves, but what? Are you serious? Toys R Us exclusive, Vision, Sam Wilson Cap, Kate Bishop, Hawkeye. Damn! Holy crap! Man, I need to go play the lottery with this kind of luck. I was not expecting that, but um, man, I was, I didn't even know when that was coming out. I didn't know it was, I thought it was gonna be closer to like Christmas time, but oh my God, I'm so happy I found that. They also had the Civil War Cap Iron Man and Spidey. Wasn't really feeling that, wasn't really feeling it. Maybe if they do a Spidey re-release and the, his, I think his uniform looks too dark in that three pack. It looks too dark, so it needs to be lighter. But I am so freaking happy I found that. So I found that, wasn't even expecting that, wasn't even looking for that. Found my pops, which I was looking for. Found some X-Men Legends, and then found two Star Wars three and three quarter inch Black Series Walmart exclusives. So yes, very, very great success today. I am so freaking happy. I can't wait to put this stuff uh, up on the shelf, take them out of the package. Mm, good luck today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, if you like following me on these hunts, subscribe. I only have like <laughs> I only have like five subscribers, so maybe you can be the sixth, and then I'll do a giveaway. But uh, subscribe, like the video, and have fun collecting. See you later.